Hello everybody, I'm Janine and you're watching Journals and Journals. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different from everything I've done so far on my channel. So do feel free to let me know what you think, either in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. So I know whether this is the type of video you'd like in the future or not. So a lot of people, especially during the last two years, have asked me, why do you go to concerts alone? Well, the easy answer is, I just don't have a lot of people that would go to those concerts with me. Which is totally fine, like, my friends have a different taste in music, a lot of them, which is totally cool with me. But on the other hand, I don't mind going to concerts alone. Because it can have advantages. But today, I definitely want to talk about what you should consider, what you should prepare yourself for, if you decide to go to a concert alone. And that is starting off by thinking about what kind of a ticket you want, whether you want a general admission ticket or a VIP ticket. Then of course, also depending on the band, it'll mean that you have to get there at a certain time in order to have a good spot if that is what you want or then come later. Because general admission tends to be let in later than the VIP. So if you do have a general admission ticket but you show up very very early and there's VIP people, you will end up behind them anyway. So that is something to consider with the time of showing up. Then of course you have the aspect of maybe staying overnight. If the concert is not in your town, which is basically, I'd say almost every concert I go to, then you need to think about whether there is a place you can stay at. If you don't have any friends or family in the area, an obvious choice would be a youth hostel or even a hotel. I tend to look what's close to the venue so I don't have to like take any buses, um, trains or anything by myself at night or have to pay for a taxi because most of the concerts I go to are in Germany which means there is no Uber around or anything like it so you do have to take a taxi which can be quite expensive sometimes. But what you can also do is thanks to social media find people that are interested in the same artist, like in the same band and maybe reach out to them on Instagram or Facebook, whatever, and just be like, hey, I saw you were going to that concert or you like that band, are you going to any of their shows this tour? And if yes, is there maybe a way we can go there together or like book a hostel or hotel room together? And a few people might be up for that because sharing costs, we all know it can be quite expensive to travel for your favorite bands. So sharing costs is always a nice thing. Plus you will already have people there that you know. So you won't feel as alone, especially if you're going to a concert by yourself for the first time. That can be kind of strange because a lot of people will go in their friend groups and you'll just be standing there like, hi. And um, how could I forget this? When you go to a concert alone, don't be afraid to speak to people. You can't be afraid to speak to people. Unless you're like, I just want to enjoy this by myself. That's a different story then. But when you go there and you're like, it would be nice to have friends to hang out with, especially if you're in line for ages. Like the longest I've waited in line was for Palais Royale, I believe. Um, I came there at like 11.30 in the morning and I went there by myself, which means I would have sat there for eight hours about by myself, not talking to anyone. Which would be weird, I don't know. I know it can be quite daunting to approach people you don't know, but you have a big, big, big advantage in that kind of scenario over different social scenarios, and that is that all of you have something in common, which is the artists you've come to see. So that is definitely something you can start a conversation about, and don't be afraid to like ask people for their names multiple times, because. That is so me, because I will ask people for their name and I will forget their name again. I'm sorry, I just I'm really bad with names. I'm good with faces and voices, but names I'm just really bad with. So yeah, don't be afraid to ask them for names multiple times. Listen to what a conversation is about, jump in, just say something once in a while. And yeah, and if you don't want to talk, turn on some music and for sure some people will join in singing and then you can start talking after that. So let me give you a few examples of that. 
let me maybe, yeah, let's start with Counterfeit, my first ever gig. And I went there by myself because at the time I had even less friends that were interested in that kind of genre by now. I have my little group of girls that I meet up with or I've, I have two friends in my closest premise you could say that like can't fit now but back then it was just me. So I came to the venue, there were hardly any people there and the people that were there sat in their friend groups and I was super shy. I just didn't want to talk to anybody but at the same time I didn't want to wait there by myself for ages. Then there, I saw this girl standing there by herself as well, so I was like, either she's waiting for people or she's actually here by herself. So I just went up to her and I was like, hi, uh, my name is Janine. I don't know, I just saw you from over there standing here. Are you waiting for anybody or are you here by yourself? Like, what's the deal? She was like, yeah, I'm here by myself. So I was like, oh yeah, me too. And then we just kind of like got talking. We basically spent all of the evening together which was really nice especially like at a first concert to have someone there to share the experience and uh, let me give you a more recent example maybe which uh, was by which was the liverpool show of the fame on the 30th of august i believe that was um they had two shows that day one was an acoustic one and one was like the actual bigger show at night i went to both shows and i went to the acoustic one first came to the door about 30 minutes before it opened and there were still a few people like out there not many but like a few were still like waiting there and I see this girl with pink hair and I was like she looks really familiar I feel like I follow her on Instagram here is me trying to be safe so I get up my phone I look her up on Instagram and I'm like oh okay that's her okay her name is Femke fine so I just like go up to her and I'm like hi Sorry, this might sound really millennial, but I think I follow you on Instagram. Basically, long story short, she ended up sleeping over in my hotel room because uh, when we went to her hostel at night, people got arrested there and I was like, yeah, no, you're not sleeping here. So, like, grab your stuff and sleep over in my hotel room. And that's just <laughs> a millennial love story, you could say. We got along really well, we vibe very well, and that is something that you maybe wouldn't experience as intense when you go to a gig with friends. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Like, don't be afraid to be awkward. I can be hella awkward in social situations. Especially if I haven't met people. Like, I might say some stuff or like introduce myself in a really weird way and... I'm still kind of self-conscious about that. But I try to just get over it because we all do it. We're all awkward sometimes. Which... Again, then nobody will really judge you for. And even if in the first instant they might think like, Who's, she's weird or he's weird, they will get over it once you started talking a bit. So if you're not quite at the point where you're like, I can go to a concert alone, maybe start going with friends and if that isn't an option, maybe just in your everyday life, try venturing out a bit, try building up confidence, a good way to do that is for example if you go to a coffee shop and you order coffee just like chat to the barista for a bit or go up to people and be like hey sorry uh, do you know where XYZ is and they might tell you just like start little conversations and that'll kind of help you get over the fact of approaching people and make it less daunting approaching people especially if you're a naturally shy person practice makes perfect and fake it till you make it just Fake you have the confidence and the others might be doing the same, you never know. So a little recap, if you're going to a concert alone, make sure you have all your organization set. So what kind of a ticket do you have? Where do you need to be where? What time are you taking a train or bus? Do that so you get there as early as you think necessary. Maybe also ask other people in the fandom or that you know when to that kind of shows before asking them like what does make sense how early should I get there to get a good spot make sure that all is like set up you know where you need to go don't be afraid to approach people just go for it talk to them get over that fear of being awkward reach out to people beforehand get to know them a little bit so it's not quite as daunting when you get there so yeah that's it already those are my tips if you're going to concerts alone or planning to go to concerts alone like I said, if this is a video you like, 
give it a thumbs up and I'll make similar ones in the future if you like to. And besides that, hit the bell, hit subscribe, thumbs up, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. Bye!